Hi friends. Maybe you've seen my other video about muscle testing with the pendulum. So this time I'd like to teach you how to do it using the finger loop method. Basically, it's all the same. It has to do with the flow of energy in your body and the alignment of truth and not truth. So uh, your body always speaks to the truth. There's only one truth that it knows. It doesn't understand negativity. It just shuts down. That's why when we use affirmations, we never use the word not in there. You don't say, I'm not afraid. You say, I am strong. So in the same vein, uh, your muscles work well and are innervated when aligned with the truth or a yes answer, and they go weak with a no answer or a falsehood. And that's why every question must be phrased in a closed way. It must be in a yes, no, true, false type phrasing. So this way you can discern the clearest answer possible. And the more details and more specific you get, the clearer your answer will be. So. This is a really important part in answering or phrasing questions. So uh, another part that is very important is that it's always phrased in the present tense. Could be past tense, but never the future tense. This is one area that becomes confusing for some people because future testing is called divination or prediction, and that's not what we're doing at all. Um, that needs to be clarified because it comes up a lot for a lot of people. And the same thing, this is another way of muscle testing that doesn't use a device because again, some people get nervous about using a pendulum and thinking that there's some other magic going on, but it's all the same system. It's all the same science and it's all from God. So my dominant hand will stay in a loop my non-dominant hand is the one that is uh, going to answer the question, so to speak. So we interlock the fingers, and when you speak a truthful statement, they will remain strong. If you have a falsehood or a no answer, the fingers will break, okay? So you can get used to doing this by answering or asking and answering questions that you know the answers to. My name is Grace. I'm 44 years old. I'm a, um, I'm a hundred years old. Split. Okay. So, um, it takes a little bit of finesse getting used to what is a strong one and what is a break. Um, that is one of the reasons why I personally like the pendulum testing because it is so obvious as a front and back or circular answer. But um, this tends to be a very tried and true method and you can sometimes get clearer answers here uh, because of the, the physiological muscle actually um, holding true. When you want to test to see how much of something or if something is good for you, maybe it's a supplement or maybe it's a um, course of action, be sure to uh, word your questions very clearly. Does my body need vitamin C right now? Yes. And if I want to measure how much vitamin C I should take, um, can I use uh, 500 milligrams? No. Okay, I actually just took some a little while ago. Can I use 100? Yes. Can I use 200? Yes. Can I use 300? Okay, so 200 would be how much I would need right now. Same thing if I'm using sprays of TRS. Can my body use TRS right now to maintain health? Yes. Um, how many sprays of TRS can I use? Without detox symptoms, I can use one spray, two spray, three spray, four spray. Okay, three sprays is what I would take because on the fourth is when the fingers broke. I can use three sprays. I reaffirm that answer by restating it and checking it again. Okay, does that make sense? So same thing, if you are thinking about um, uh, deciding whether or not to do something or go somewhere, 
um, is it in my best interest to go shopping? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it in my best interest to um, sit down for meditation right now? Yes. Okay, so you can make these kinds of discernments uh, checking in because sometimes what our habitual choice would be is not actually in our best interest or um, what God would have you do or what your body would have you do. It's kind of the same thing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy to answer any questions you have about muscle testing, and you can also read more about it uh, by doing an internet search on muscle testing and also applied kinesiology. Thanks so much.